How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about a credit boosting trick that I think should be illegal, but it isn't for credibility reasons, not for showing off or anything. My credit score right now is 818 on Discover out of 850. 51 total accounts, 24 years of average length of credit. That means I knock off all the young credit cards. I got two inquiries within the past year. 1% of utilization and zero missed payments. As a person with a more established credit score, I actually don't really need the credit score for anything. I don't take out personal loans, car loans or anything. I pay for all of that in cash. So the only reason I would use a credit score is actually to get new credit cards just for the purposes of churning. Now, if your credit score is lower than about 700, then it would do well for you to use this method. Now, why do I say this should be illegal is because you're essentially tricking the credit scoring system into thinking that you are making on-time payments consistently over time, when in fact you are actually just borrowing from yourself, is this little weird trick, and then paying yourself back. Yes, you still need to pay on-time payments, but you're not actually buying anything. You're not buying a big screen TV. You're just paying yourself in the future instead. The way it works is this. You take a loan from yourself using a third party such as self lender. And by the way, if you guys sign up for this, I do get an affiliate payment for this just for full disclosure here. What? Pay yourself back? Borrow from yourself? What is this? Well, first, we got to look at how your credit score is composed. 35% of your credit score is from credit history. So if you sort of fake your credit history and say, oh, I got all these payments that's really on time, then you can boost that part of your credit score. 30% is amount owed, which is basically utilization. 10% of your credit score is the types of credit used. So if you don't have a payment style loan already and you get this self lender loan, then this is gonna boost your credit score in that way. 10% of it is from new credit. That is, if you got a lot of new credit recently, then this would count against you. If all your cards are really old, then you get full points on this category. 15% is the length of your history. So the longer it is, the higher a score in this category that you can obtain. The way Self Lender works is pretty simple. You can get the app and sign up for it and whatnot. You basically sign up for a contract and you have to pay yourself monthly. They have plans where every month you pay $25, $35, $48 or $150, but to initiate all this, you have to pay a $9 one-time fee. All of these plans are 24 months long, so if you pay $25 for 24 months, that's $600 total. At the very end, they will give you back $520. So if you do the math here, in total for the $25 a month plan, you're paying $89 in total. Of course, they have the more expensive plans, but you really don't need the more expensive one. You'll get 99% of the advantage of raising your credit score already just for having something, some kind of payment plan where you pay back consistently. So you might be wondering, what's the effective interest rate that you're paying for these loans? It's quite high actually, it's 15.92 of APR, but I would think of it more as a credit boosting service. You're paying $89 here, and on average, their customers get 49 point increase in their score as long as they start with somewhere around a 600 credit score. Why am I making a video about this? Because Max here asked me to do this video on Self Lender. I've actually done a video like this in the past, like five or six years ago. Here it is, six years ago, how to build credit with bad credit or no credit with Self Lender. And in his example, he actually raised his credit score from 605 to 700. 39. That's a 134 point increase. He was probably doing other good things like making sure he doesn't miss any payments, making sure he pays all of it, keeping the utilization low. $89 for this little scheme thing is really, really cheap, especially when you consider that you'll get a lower interest rate by the time you buy a car or a home loan. You're going to save yourself thousands just when you put this small amount in if you're going to buy something big within two years time. You prepare your credit score now, so your interest rate will be lower later. Yes, it reports to all three credit bureaus. You can pay it off early if you don't like this, but I highly recommend you to keep this for the whole duration because what you want is a long history, not a short one where you just get it and then you pay it right off, then it's not gonna show on your credit report. So you wanna drag it out as long as possible 
the full 24 months. This is not a personal loan where you actually get the money. You can't actually go and spend that $520 right off the top, right off the bat in the beginning. You actually get it back at the end of your payment term. If you are not a very good saver, you put money in consistently every single month and boom, right at the end, you can have a big chunk of $520 to do whatever you please with it. So you can't spend the money today and there's no hard inquiry on your credit score either just for getting this. I've made the first video for six years already and I've been monitoring this company. They are legitimate. It's good. I have plenty of people report to me that they work. So if you're interested or if you got a credit score of let's say like under 700, I think this would do well for you. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time.